Our involvement, I'm going to show you, is based on five big lies. Now, the government and their, their strap hangers in the media and big business, they don't want us ever to look at the justifications for involvement because when we start to look, we see that it is all a series of big lies. None of it holds up to examination. The, the first big lie is that if we don't stop Putin in his tracks in Ukraine, well, 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 what? Well, what, what else? What's next? Is he going to be marching across the North European plain and be at the gates of Calais in no time? Is that the, the what else? I mean, think about it. This is the main argument that it, it won't just be Ukraine. If, he, if he's not stopped in Ukraine, he'll be marching. And we've said, if this conflict has shown us one thing, it is that Russia's fabled military might with nothing like we were told to believe it was. That Russia is having difficulty with a relatively small morsel like Ukraine. How is it even remotely thinkable that they could be marching across that North European plain? It, it, it is just, it's childish. It is absurd. It's ridiculous. But this is basically the main argument of the government for our in involvement here. The, the second uh, uh, big, big lie is that, well, we're, we've, got, we've got the international community with us. This is a huge lie. What they mean is we've got the Anglosphere, that's Europe and America, Australia, Canada, and, and, and on the other side, they don't count. This is fundamentally racist. Two-thirds of humanity are not part of the Anglosphere or, or the EU. But these people of, of color, the billions, China, India, Africa, they don't count. This is racist. This is fundamentally racist. In the same way, the government say, send us your thousands of white Ukrainians, but Africans and Asians don't even think about it. The, the underpinnings of this conflict, intellectual, are profoundly racist. This is a white man's war. The third uh, big lie is that, well, if uh, Russia isn't stopped, then this will be a shot in the arm for all the authoritarians and we have to stop the march of authoritarianism in the world. The, if, if, if this means anything, it might conceivably mean that, well, we have to watch out for what's going to happen on Taiwan. If, if Russia is successful, then the Chinese might follow suit with Taiwan. Well, there's only one thing you can say in response to that. So what? So what? It is not our fight. Anyway, anyway, chi China, I'm sure, would not be so stupid as to invite a full military war with America, a full economic war with the, the rest of the world by attacking Taiwan. But in any case, it would not be our war. There is no reason for Britain to be afraid of what's happening in these far-flung countries. Authoritarianism. Why should we be afraid of authoritarianism outside when we already have it in this country? This, this is where the authoritarians are. As David pointed out, not one single MP speaks for the, the truth. Not one party is a, a peace party. We have no choice. We have no choice on this. We have no choice on the climate alarmism. You have a choice of green, greener or greenest. I want brown. No choice. Coercion. Mandates. Brainwashing. The digital surveillance state. Again, no choice.
It's just insidiously foisted on you in the same way that we've had this, our participation in the conflict foisted on us. The government don't want you to, to think. This is the, the key to their success in brainwashing us. They don't want any of these big lies to be uh, examined. And finally, there's a matter of the, the cost of the war. Uh, I watched the things we do for the cause. I, I watched a Conservative Party political broadcast the, the other night, forced myself to watch, because you must know what the enemy are saying. And they said, Putin's responsible for inflation. Well, yes, you're right. It's a joke. It's a joke. But the, the laugh is on us because most gullible people uh, suck it up. We all know that the Ukraine conflict is costing us billions, billions we don't have, billions that we're paying for th through the nose. And more importantly, we're paying the cost through the higher price of uh, energy partly because of our friends down the road, all, all the costly renewables, all that nonsense, but it, in the short term, because of the sanctions that we and the other Western powers inflicted on the Russians, but which have backfired against us big time. Has any of the experts, so-called experts, been called to account? Not one. Do they even see their error? No, they don't want to see it. But we see it because we are the thinking people. And I'll just finish by thanking you for coming, thanking you for being part of the thinking minority. So carry on resisting, brothers and sisters. Thank you.